Hey man, come on in. I wanted to find the best eats in downtown Wheeling, so I headed to a new restaurant that's receiving rave reviews. The Vagabond Kitchen. The man behind the beard is Matt Welsh, and he's on his way to becoming a local legend. Known as the Vagabond Chef, he started his journey traveling around the U.S. and writing a food blog about all the awesome eats that he encountered on his way. A lot of the Vagabond menu is organic and locally sourced from Grow Ohio Valley, an initiative for sustainable agriculture. They marinate their meat in-house. This is our house-made ham. And smoke to perfection over applewood chips. Their dishes are revered for shaking up the culinary scene in Wheeling and adding new flavor explosions to the community's palate. So as you guys can see here, the secret to good cooking is planning. So right now, I'm eating a Korean pulled pork taco, and this has marinated pulled pork on the bottom, and then you have a nice layer of lettuce with some sriracha mayo for some spice, and then to top it off, some spicy kimchi made in house. This is one of the craziest dishes I've ever seen, and number one in Wheeling as far as uniqueness of cuisine goes. This has inspiration from uh, Central American cultures. You have the corn tortillas, and then you have uh, some South Korean influences with the spicy kimchi and uh, modern classic sriracha mayo. So let's dig in. From the very beginning, I was responding to what people seem to want in, in Wheeling and in the Ohio Valley. And that's why I started catering. And it was through looking for a home kitchen that we ended up getting the restaurant here in the McClure and using this as a stepping stone towards the next, you know, the next part of this adventure. Uh, and the community response has been amazing from the get-go. Uh, people are very interested in, in what we have to bring to the table. Uh, they're excited about the energy here in downtown that we're a small part of. And that has been what's kept us going. You know, I, I like to say that the artist and the businessman in me have been fighting for the past 18 months and we've had, had to figure out how to work well together and where to compromise so that the, because the, without the businessman, the artist is going to be living under a bridge. <laughs> but without the artist, the businessman is going to be making food that's not inspired. So there's a way to work those two together where they can interrelate that makes everything a lot better. Uh, and we've had a lot of stumbling blocks. I've had a lot to learn. and. The community has continued to support us and you know understand that everything's not going to be perfect from the get-go this isn't a big box reality this is small handcrafted this is my first restaurant but we're made up of people who really believe in it and you know people who work here and are people who believe in us the most in the community they they believe in the vision you know we're, we do handcrafted food rooted in a local community that's what's important <laughs> 